Hi, I'm Jared, product expert here at Power Equipment Direct, and today I'm here with Jen. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm Jared's assistant, and I help out with all of the generator-related products. And today we're going to talk about the CAT INV4000E inverter generator. Well, we have a lot to cover, so let's get started right from the top. Let's go. What is an inverter generator? So an inverter generator is just like any other generator as it puts out electricity, but it does it with very clean power. And when you say clean power, what is that going to be good for? So with clean power, it would be good for TVs, computers, charging your cell phone, things that are sensitive to fluctuations in electricity. How else would an inverter generator be different from a conventional generator? So with an inverter generator, usually what they'll have is the ability to fluctuate the RPM depending on the amount of electrical load you put on. And RPM is going to be the speed that the engine is rotating. Correct. And load is just however much power is being drawn at any given time. Exactly. I imagine these are pretty quiet due to the enclosed frame. Correct. Uh, inverter generators in general are usually much quieter than other generators. This one itself is about 51 to 58 decibels. Okay, and I know decibels, but what would that mean? So decibels, uh, our conversation is about 60 decibels. So talking over this is, while it would be running would be very easy. But a conventional generator will generally be anywhere from 75 to 80 decibels, which is very, very loud. What applications would a quiet generator like this be good for? So this would be perfect for RVing, uh, tailgating, or even job site use if needed. With inverter generators, power is always a concern. How much are you gonna get out of this? So this generator runs at 3,200 watts, but can surge to 4,000 watts. That's enough power to run a 15,000 BTU AC unit on an RV. Wow, uh, and an AC unit draws quite a bit of power. So what would be a good way to maximize power? So one of the great features about this is that it is parallel capable, which you can link two of these together and double your wattage output. With so many inverter generators available, what's going to set this cat apart from other brands? Well, this has a lot of cool features to it. Number one would be the electric start. Uh, it's a push button electric start. It has its own onboard battery and a trickle charger to charge that battery. Uh, second would be the smart display. Uh, the smart display has a lot of key features on it, uh, you know, power output, power consumption, uh, remaining run time, and even the amount of hours that are on the unit. What is the trickle charger going to be good for? So the trickle charger on this is going to make sure that the ba onboard battery always stays charged, and it's a unit that you can actually leave plugged into the wall. Without damaging the battery? Without damaging the battery. Wow. And the onboard display, that's going to help track for maintenance? Absolutely. Uh, maintenance is key on any piece of equipment, and this is going to give you all the information you need to know when to make that maintenance happen. And what is typical maintenance for this going to look like? Um, usual maintenance on this, uh, oil change, you know, making sure that you've got you know, good, fresh gas in it, uh, and if not, you know, using a, a, some kind of fuel stabilizer in there, um, you know, and then spark plugs and checking the air filter every once in a while. How much runtime do you get on a full tank of gas? Well, with this unit, it's got a 2.1 gallon fuel tank, and that's going to get you about 8 hours of runtime at 50% load. And again, load is half of what the generator is capable of. Correct. What about safety features? They have added a CO sensor, which the CO sensor will detect carbon monoxide buildup around the unit and automatically shut it down to keep you and your family safe. For somebody who doesn't know, why is that important? Like every generator, these need to be ran outside. If you, we have had an occasional customer that you know decides to put it in their garage or a carport or somewhere where it does not belong running, and this will actually help save them from hurting themselves. So why don't we take a minute and talk about the outlets, ports, and smart display? Absolutely. So the main thing you're going to see that stands out on this is going to be the CO defense sensor. It's right up at the top here, and this is what's going to detect any carbon monoxide buildup around the unit. Uh, below that, we've got the starting knob, which when placed into this position is going to be the choke and then green to run. Next to that, we're going to have our push button start, and then right above this, we have USB ports. It gives you a couple so you could charge cell phone, 
and other items that use USBs. Now above this, we have a 12 volt outlet. Next to that, we're going to have our regular house duplex style outlets. This can be used with anything that uses a regular three prong home type plug. And then next to that, we've got our 30 amp twist lock. This outlet is gonna allow you to utilize all the power of this generator out of one outlet. Above that, we've got our parallel ports used for when paralleling with another unit is going to have proprietary type connectors. On top of that, we've got that smart display that we discussed. That's the smart display that's gonna show you fuel usage, power usage, and then your remaining run time. With any inverter generator, portability is gonna be key. How easy is this to move around? This is very easy to move around. You know, especially in RV, uh, tailgating situations, you know, the party's moving down the row, you need to go with it. You've got lifting handles here. You can get it out the back of your pickup. Uh, you got a handle in the back here. And then once you get it to the ground, you've got wheels already attached and a flip out handle in the front. So away you go. Now that we've gone over the features of this generator, we've stepped outside to show you the setup and starting procedures for this. The first and key thing with this generator that you're going to want to do is remove these red brackets on the bottom. Basically what they're there for is to isolate the engine during shipping so that nothing gets damaged. With that, they've also provided 18 ounces of oil. They've also provided a funnel. And in the toolbox, we've got a screwdriver, spark plug wrench, and an open-ended wrench to help remove those brackets. We're going to turn this generator on its side. First step, we're going to remove these brackets. Our next step is to fill it with oil. So to tell when this is full, this does have a dipstick on the oil cap, but it actually takes the whole thing. The next step is to add fresh gas to the unit, which we've already done. Next, we're going to remove this side panel and connect the battery. So the positive cable will already be connected on the unit. We found it easier to remove the entire battery to make the proper connection. Make sure that you tighten this down properly with the wrench. After that, you're going to want to place the negative battery cover over the top. It's a rubber band style battery mount, which is easy to wrap right over the top. There. Lastly, we're going to reinstall the side panel. So now that we've put oil in the unit, we've put gas in it, connected the battery, it's time to fire it up. It's a very simple process. You're gonna take this front knob here, turn it to the choke position. You'll see that the screen lights up. Now we just hold this start button and away we go. Now we'll turn it to the run position. You can see, I can talk right over this. That's what's great about this generator. It's very quiet and great for all applications. So you see on the unit, it's showing a little low on fuel. We're not drawing any power from it, but we're putting out 124 volts, 60 hertz. Our battery voltage is 13.2. Let's plug something in. First, we're gonna charge my cell phone. Cell phone's charging. So let's try a fan. Fans on, running good. Still not using too much power out of this unit. So we've got my phone and my fan plugged into it, and we're barely pulling any power out of this generator. On this generator, we've got a three-prong twist lock outlet that I can plug this in for RVU. When it comes to shutting this down, it's just a turn of a knob. And now the generator's off. So we unboxed this unit today, set it up, brought it outside. It's a cold day out here and it fired right up. I'm still very impressed with this. I love the features of the generator and I would recommend this to a lot of people. So we've covered a lot of information today. Overall, Jared, what would be your opinion of this model? Uh, this is a great generator. Uh, Cat is a solid brand. They make great products. Uh, this included, you know, you've got a lot of key features with portability and especially with the safety on this. That CO guard is a very invaluable item and it's going to keep your family safe. Uh, for anybody looking to use this for RVing or tailgating, I would say this would be the one to go with. So that's it. For more videos like these, please like and subscribe. Until then, we'll see you later.